It's time for Ask the Tech Guy. Scott Zollinger has asked us an important question many of you have. I have a very childish Google handle, says Scott, and I want a more adult handle. Can I migrate one Google account to another? We'll find out next on Ask the Tech Guy. This is Twit. Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass, the number one most preferred password manager. You just remember your master password and let LastPass remember the rest. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Scott writes, I've had my current Google account since Gmail was in beta. I want to get a new account that has a more, for the lack of a better word, adult name. What, Scotty Poo 32 is it too, uh, too childish for you, Scott? Problem is I have my whole life in my Google account, my documents, music, and of course mail. I even have Project Fi attached to it. How do I switch my account to the new one without having to repurchase all my apps, keep my phone connected, and transfer my Play Music data and discount? So I've just logged into my Google account. I clicked personal info and then went to the email section and tried to edit it. And I got this message, the same message you will get. The address used to identify your Google account to you and others, you can't change this address. So there's good news and bad news on this one. Google makes it fairly easy for you to migrate from one Google account to another in some cases, but there's some things you just won't be able to migrate. I'll start with Gmail. That's the easiest. In fact, I would recommend keeping your existing Scotty Poo 32 account but not giving it out in future. And you can have all the mail that's in Scotty Poo 32 forwarded to your new account. That's an easy thing to set up in Google. You can even have new mail that comes to Scotty Poo automatically forwarded to Mr. Scott Esquire. And uh, that way you won't miss any email. So uh, always when you're getting rid of an old email account, keep it active for some time so that you can continue to forward mail that comes in. Because inevitably, some people are not going to remember the the, 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 the new address or they're going to use the old address. That's a simple one. And Google Mail makes it fairly easy to export all your mail, import it back in. In fact, the first thing you should look at is something Google calls Google Takeout. They've had this almost since the very beginning. It was a really great idea. Google's theory was, you know, we don't want to be a a prison for anybody. If somebody wants to leave a Google service, we want them to be able to take out their information. So Google Takeout allows you to download your information from all, almost all the Google services. Problem is the format you'll get it in is often an XML format that other programs can't necessarily read. But at least you've got your data. You can do that with Gmail. Better just start a Gmail forwarder to your new account. Um, documents, also very easy to do. You can move your documents from one Google account to another. In fact, there's even a setting in Google to do that. My daughter recently did this. She was a college student provided with a Google Docs account. She was going to lose her account now that she's a graduate. So she said, Dad, what do I do with all that stuff? I've got my Google Drive. And it's a very easy command Google offers that'll let you just move from one Google account to another. But what will not change is the original ownership of that document. That will still be Scotty Poo 32. And if that's embarrassing, maybe you'll want to copy and paste it into a new document. But at least you won't lose any data. This happens all the time. A lot of students have Google Drives uh, that they want to migrate. Music. Well, of course, you can change your Google Music account to your new Google account. That's a simple enough thing to do. You mentioned that you got the discount. I did, too. When I first signed up for Google Music, I think we got it for $7.99, right? And that was, you know, you're grandfathered in forever until you move accounts. And then, no, you're going to pay the same $10 amount that everybody else pays. And I don't know of any way to do that. And Google's not one of those companies where you can call them up and say, hey, uh, Joe, I'm moving. Can you help me? Uh, good luck with tech support doing that. So you might lose your discount. You will be able to move your Google Music account. That's easy enough. Anything you've uploaded to Google Music, you will probably have to re-upload. But you kept all those songs, right? So you don't have to worry about that. Project Fi. That's a little more complicated because you've associated your Google account with a phone number and you want to have a new Google account associated with Project Fi. You could easily create a new Project Fi account, but you'll have to port your number from one to the other. Project Fi will charge you a small amount of money to do that. Um, I think that that's not going to be too complicated, but you might lose some SMS messages or voicemail messages. So you'll want to make a copy of those before you do it. 
Uh, let's see. What else did you want? Yeah, your phone will continue to work. You'll have to port the phone phone number over to your new account. Google allows you to do that. Ah, he wanted to. He was worried about repurchasing his app. So now you're going to change the account that your Android phone is associated with, and all of those apps you're going to have to rebuy. I don't know of any way to say take those apps with you, apps that you've already purchased on the old Scotty Poo account. I don't think you can move those. Uh, to your new account. I don't know of any way to do that. So for the most part, you're going to be able to move to this new grown-up name, but there will be a few things you leave behind, chiefly apps you've purchased in the past. And I'm sorry to say, you're going to lose that Google Music discount. I lost it too. Thanks for the question, Scott. If you have a question for us, we'd love to hear from you. All you have to do is send it to askthetechguy at twit.tv. Maybe you'll be next. See you next time. As always, Ask the Tech Guys brought to you by LastPass, the number one most preferred password manager worldwide, and number one with me, too. I've been using it since they started. LastPass now offers new features with their business lineup. LastPass Enterprise includes single sign-on with 1,200-plus pre-integrated apps. LastPass multi-factor authentication, MFA, goes beyond standard two-factor through the use of biometrics and things like geolocation. LastPass Identity combines the two. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. That's lastpass.com slash twit. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email askthetechguy at twit.tv.